Hello everyone! Welcome back sa ating class 4, the Cooperative Code of the Philippines. Now this time, for this video, ang pag-uusapan natin yung administration of cooperatives. So sino ba ang may power of administration no, of cooperatives? Alamin natin later, sa ating mga later na slides. So we have the General Assembly. Okay, Ito yung highest policy making body of the cooperative. Sila yung my power to administer the cooperative. So, sino yung nag-compose ng General Assembly? This is composed of the members of the cooperative who are entitled to vote under the Articles of Cooperation and the Bylaws of the cooperative. So, kung ikaw ay member ng co-op, ikaw ay part ng General Assembly. So, ano yung powers ng General Assembly? Highest policy making body so meaning to say, yung mga board of directors, sila ay representative lang ng General Assembly. They should act in accordance with the authority given to them by the General Assembly. So meaning, they are elected and appointed para uh, i-administer yung co-op in behalf of the General Assembly. So meaning to say, hindi yung board of directors yung pinaka-highest policy-making body. Kasi usual na, na nalalaman natin na Napakalakas ng board of directors pero hindi ganon. Ang meron talagang highest power is yung General Assembly. Pwedeng i-revoke or pwedeng ipakancel ng ng General Assembly yung actions ng board na hindi naaayon sa authority given. To determine and approve amendments to the Articles of Cooperation and Bylaws. So, si kapag mag-amend ka pala ng Articles sa Bylaws kailangan mo ng concurrence ng General Assembly. Hindi pwedeng yung board lang ang gagawa. To elect or appoint the members of the board. Ayan, sabi natin. And to remove them for cause. So ganyan ka-powerful yung General Assembly. May power sila na i-remove yung kanilang board of directors kasi sila din naman yung nag-elect. However, in the case of an electric cooperative registered under this code, election of the members of the board should be held in accordance with its bylaws or election guidelines of such electric cooperative. And to approve developmental plans of the co-op and to delegate some of its powers to a smaller body of the cooperative, three-fourth votes of all members with voting. Right, so three-fourth ang kailangan. Now, let's go to meetings. We have regular and special meetings. Yung regular meeting, dapat mag-conduct ka talaga nito kasi kasali ito sa reportorial requirements sa Cooperative Code ay Cooperative Development Authority. So annually, no? Uh, on any date within 90 days after the close of each fiscal year. So kunyari, naka-calendar year kayo, January to December, so yung 90 days natin hanggang March 30. So within that period, no, within 90 days, matapos mag-close yung fiscal year or calendar year, mag-conduct dapat kayo ng regular meeting. Ito yung tinatawag natin na annual general assembly. Okay? Special meeting naman, kapag merong special uh, agenda na pag-uusapan na need talaga yung vote ng general assembly. Tapos hindi pa schedule for the regular meeting. So pwedeng magpa-call ng special meeting. Okay? And take note that there should be one week notice no? and 10% entitled to vote no? para magpa-call ka ng special meeting. Kasi kapag maliit lang kayo, hindi pwede. Okay? Kailangan at least 10% entitled to vote yung pipirma para magpa-call ng special meeting. In case of a newly approved co-op, kailangan within 90 days from the approval, magpa-call ng special meeting. And for the purpose of reporting to the members the result of any examination or other investigation of the cooperative affairs. So in short, kapag merong mga special purpose or special na mga agenda na kanang dili na mahulat ang regular assembly or meeting, then pwedeng magpa-call ng special meeting. Quorum. Magkano ba ang quorum para um, magkaroon ng official business? At least 25% of all the members entitled to vote. Okay, kunyari merong 100 members, at least 25 persons nandun. Mag-attend sa General Assembly para 
magkaroon ng official business para mag magkandak ng business, no? Otherwise, hindi uh, mag-continue sa meeting. In the case of cooperative banks, eto special provision, one half plus one. So, mas malaki yung kanilang requirement. Kanyari, 100 yung members, so 51 dapat, no? Yung kailangan mag-attend, no? Para quorum siya. In the case of electric co-op naman, maliit lang yung requirement. 5% of all the members entitled to vote. Bakit ba 5%? Kasi ang laki ng coverage ng mga electric cooperatives, imagine all residents, almost all residents of a locality are members of the co-op. No? For as long as nag, uh, meron kang kuryente, meron kang metro, member ka ng electric co-op. So, kaya dahil napakalaki ng, ano, ng population, maliit lang yung requirement for quorum. Voting system, each member of a primary cooperative shall have only one vote unless you are an associate member. So kung associate ka, wala kang voting right. In the case of uh, members of secondary or tertiary co-op, meron silang one basic vote and as many incentive votes as provided for in the bylaws, but not exceed five votes. So yung mga second or tertiary co-op pala, meron silang five, uh, one basic vote, pero meron mga incentive vote, pero hindi dapat susobra ng five votes. <clears throat> The votes cast by the delegates shall be deemed as votes cast by the members thereof. However, the bylaws of a cooperative other than a primary may provide for voting by proxy. So allowed yung proxy. It means allowing a delegate of a cooperative to represent or vote in behalf of another delegate of the same cooperative. So composition and term of board of directors. So ilan ba dapat? It is composed of not less than five nor more than 15 members elected by the General Assembly for a term of two years. Two years yung term. And shall hold office until their successors are duly elected and qualified or until duly removed for cause. Ano yung powers ng board? They shall be responsible for the strategic planning, direction setting, and policy formulation activities of the cooperative. Actually, yung ano nila, yung plan nila, pinapa-approve pa rin yan sa General Assembly. Merong concurrence yan. So, every end of the year, meron silang, di ba, magkakandak ng regular meeting. Yung tinatawag natin na annual General Assembly. So, doon, ipapakoncur nila yung kanilang plan for the next year. So, actually, yung talagang work ng board is merely to plan, to formulate policies. And then, subject to the approval and concurrence of the General Assembly. Directors, any member of a cooperative who under the bylaws of the cooperative has the right to vote and who possesses all the qualifications and none of the disqualifications provided in the laws or bylaws shall be eligible for election as director. Kunyari, ikaw ay member ng co-op, you have the right to vote and qualified ka to run, then you can be a director, you can run. So the members of the board of directors shall not hold any other position directly involved in the day-to-day. -day. Kunyari ikaw ay um, nagtatrabaho sa co-op, hindi ka pwedeng maging director kasi you are employed by the cooperative. Any person engaged in a business similar to that of the cooperative or in any way has a conflict of interest, disqualified ka maging director. Kunyari, paras kayo ng negosyo ng co-op, so hindi pwede. No? Hindi ka pwedeng maging director, disqualified ka. Now, what about yung meetings ng co-op? Kailan? So, just like the General Assembly, meron tayong tinatawag na regular tsaka special meeting no, for board of directors. So, once a month, no, yung requirement for board, yung special meeting naman, uh, at any time upon the call of the chairperson or majority of the members of the board. So, kung merong special na pag-uusapan, pwedeng mag-call yung board ng special meeting. Provided, meron mga notice. So, paano ba yung quorum requirement? Majority daw ng members of the board. So, when you say majority, half plus one. So, kung 15 yung members ng board, so 8 will constitute quorum. Directors cannot attend or vote by proxy at board meeting. So, bawal ang proxy. Pwede sa general assembly meeting, pero sa 
uh, board meeting bawal. We can see paano kung may vacant sa board of directors other than the expiration of the term, it can be filled in by the vote of at least majority of the remaining directors if still constituting quorum. Otherwise, kung hindi na siya quorum, the vacancy must be filled by the General Assembly either in a regular or special meeting called for the purpose. A director so elected to fill a vacancy shall serve only the unexpired term of his predecessor in office. Officers of the cooperative, iba ba itong officers sa yung board? Yes. Kasi merong mga officers like president, vice, yung mga ganun. The board of directors shall elect from among themselves the chairperson, ayan, vice chairperson, and elect or appoint other officers of the cooperative from outside of the board in accordance with their bylaws. Kasi meron tayong mga committee, yung co-op, no, like audit committee. Hindi naman necessary na member yan ng board. Pwedeng mga expert yan sila, mga professionals, no, maging part ng audit committee. All officers shall serve during good behavior and shall not be removed except for cause. So, yung removal natin ng officers upon cause lang, valid cause, valid ground. No two or more persons with relationships up to third civil degree of consanguinity or affinity nor shall any person engage in a business similar to that of the cooperative nor in any other manner has interest in conflict with the court shall serve as an appointive officer. Okay, bawal. Meron disqualification kapag meron kang parang similar lang yung business mo tapos you are within the third degree of consanguinity or affinity. Hanggang, ke, hanggang saan ba yung counting natin sa third civil degree? O kunyari, ikaw, so yung third degree of consanguinity hanggang sa first degree sa lola, ay sa mama o papa, second degree padulong sa lola o lolo, Then, third degree pa doon sa uncle. So, hanggang uncle. So, dili pwede mong uncle na siya similar business with the cooperative. Okay? Ma-disqualify siya. So, what if igagaw? So, pwede na kay Biyan naman siya sa third degree of consanguinity or affinity. So, lahi po din committees no, of cooperatives. No? The bylaws may create an executive committee to be appointed by the board with such powers and duties as may be delegated. So, meron tayong audit committee, election committee, mediation and conciliation committee, ethics committee. No? And itong apat, one, two, three, four na committees, required talaga na meron yung mga co-op nito. And then, pwede na silang mag-add ng other committees no? as may be necessary. So, ano yung liability ng directors, officers, and committee members? Um, directors, officers, and committee members who willfully and knowingly vote for or assent to patently unlawful acts or who are guilty of gross negligence or bad faith in directing the affairs of the COP or acquire any personal or pecuniary interest in conflict with their duty as such directors, officers, or committee members shall be liable jointly and severally, meaning solidarily for all the damages or profits resulting therefrom to the cooperative. When a director, officer, or committee member attempts to acquire or acquires in violation of his duty any interest or equity adverse to the cooperative, so he shall, at, as a trustee, be liable for damages no? and shall be accountable for the double the, for double the profits which otherwise would have accrued. Kunyari, bawal ka di ba, na mag-engage into similar business with the co-op. Tapos ngayon, uh, you have violated no, that prohibition. So, Liable ka for damages and magbabayad ka ng double ng profit mo doon sa business, similar business. Kung may bayad ba yung mga directors? The answer is wala. No? They shall not receive any compensation. Ang nire-receive lang nila is reasonable per diem. Provided however, parang allowance lang yan siya. No? Parang uh, kapag mag-attend mag ka ng meeting, bigyan ka ng allowance or per diem. However, that the directors and officers shall not be entitled to any per diem when in the preceding calendar year the cooperative reported a net loss or had a dividend rate less than the official inflation rate. So kunyari, at a net loss yung co-op in the preceding year. So in the succeeding year, bawal ka mag-receive ng uh, per diem. Okay? Para ma-recover pa muna ng co-op. So dili ni mo pwede 
kanang gatasan ang co-op no nga kailangan kung kailangan magsakripisyo magsakripisyo any compensation other than per diems be granted uh, by a majority vote of the members kung i-allow sa members sa uh, general assembly with voting rights at a regular or special general assembly meeting code for the purpose that no additional compensation other than per diem shall be paid during the first year of existence Siyempre, nagsugod pa man ang co-op, no? The co-op is still starting, so uh, para maywasan ang losses, wag munang additional compensation. Per diem lang muna, okay? Uh, the compensation of officers of the cooperative as well as the members of the committee as well as the members of the committees may be fixed in by the bylaws, no? Kung ang directors bawal ang compensation, ang officers tsaka committee members meron, Okay? Basta nakalagay lang sa batas or sa bylaws. Unless already fixed in the bylaws, the compensation of all other employees shall be determined by the Board of Directors. Ito, dealings. Self-dealing. Yung director, nakikontrata siya sa co-op. Ano yung treatment natin dyan? Yung treatment or yung status ng contract is voidable. At the option of the cooperative, okay? Unless all the following conditions are present. Number one, ang presence ng director, yung self-dealing director, was not necessary to constitute a quorum for such meeting. So, pwede siyang i-disregard. That the vote of such self-dealing director was not necessary for the approval. That it is fair and reasonable under the circumstances And that in the case of an officer or committee member, the contract with the officer or committee member has been previously authorized by the General Assembly or by the Board of Directors. So just remember, generally, kapag nag-self-dealing yung director, director siya ng co-op, siya din yung nakipag-contract sa co-op, siya yung nag-supply ng books or nag-supply ng mga materials ng co-op, ang transaction ng contract is voidable. Unless yung following conditions are present. Yung presence niya hindi necessary para mag-constitute ng quorum, yung vote niya hindi necessary para ma-approve yung contract, tsaka yung contract is fair and reasonable under the circumstances. And in case kung officer siya or committee member, uh, yung kanyang pag-self-deal is approved no, by the General Assembly or by the Board of Directors. Where... Any of the two first conditions set forth in the proceeding is absent. Paano kung kulang yung conditions? Any two. May dalawang kulang. So ano ang remedy? Pwede siyang i-ratify by a three-fourth vote of all the members with voting rights. So mapwedeng mag-call ng special meeting para i-ratify ng General Assembly yung transaction para maging valid siya. Okay? provided that full disclosure of the adverse interest of the directors involved is made at such meeting and that the contract is fair and reasonable under the circumstances. Paano itong disloyalty? Paano ba yung disloyalty? Kung ang director acquires for himself an opportunity which should belong to the co-op, like for example, merong, uh, meron sanang client yung co-op pero kinuha Murgikawat sa director ba? Siya ang nag-acquire sa opportunity, which is unta para sa co-op. So that is disloyalty. So what will be the liability of the director? He is liable for damages and must account for double the profits that otherwise would have accrued. So kunyari, naka-income siya 10,000, so 20 mil, iyang ihatag sa co-op. No? Unless, no? generally, liable siya. Unless na lang, If the members of the General Assembly ratified the, the action of the director by a three-fourth vote. So, meaning, mahimo ng valid karon ang iyahang action. No? Bisan pag uh, na-i disloyalty. Illegal use of confidential information. A director or officer or an associate of a director or officer who for his benefit or advantage or that of an associate makes use of confidential information that if generally known might reasonably be expected to adversely affect the operation and viability of the co-op shall be held 
liable to compensate the co-op for the direct losses yan, suffered by the cooperative, accountable to the co-op for any direct benefit or advantage received, and the cooperative shall take the necessary steps to enforce the liabilities described in subsection A. Removal. All complaints for the removal, kasi sabi natin kanina, yung board, officers, tsaka committee, they can be removed only upon valid cause or ground. So, if that is the case, kailangan merong reklamo, merong complaint. No? So, saan ka dapat mag-file ng complaint? All complaints for the removal of any elected officer shall be filed with the board of directors. So doon ka mag sa BOD and such officers shall be given the opportunity to be heard. Majority of the board of directors may place the officer concern under preventive suspension pending the resolution of the investigation. Upon finding of a prima facie evidence of guilt, the board shall present its recommendation for removal to the General Assembly. Kasi ang General Assembly lang ang pwedeng mag-remove ng director or officer. So paano, ilang votes ang kailangan para mag-remove ng elective officer? Three-fourth votes of the regular members present and constituting quorum in a regular or special general assembly meeting called for the purpose. But that officer will be given again an opportunity to be heard at the said assembly. Okay, that ends our discussion for the chapter administration of cooperative. So see you in our next video. Goodbye.